here we go. Seto Kaiba versus the Paradox Brothers. Now, the Paradox Brothers, now we already have seen starter deck Kaiba in a few duels before on this channel. Um, the deck that I've created for the Paradox Brothers, this one was pretty tricky to put together because all of the monsters that he used in the anime were five stars. Um, his main monster, of course, is Labyrinth Wall, so that's kind of how I've structured his deck. I've used rock types and monsters that have Guardian in the name. And uh, so, for example, Guardian of the Labyrinth is in there, Protector of the Throne Room. It's all of those sort of uh, Throne Room protection cards, um, Guardian cards and rock types is how I've structured his deck. All right, there's a face down card from Kaiba. Okay, we are looking at the uh, the perspective of the Paradox Brothers. Guilty of the D-Knight is in the fusion cards. Also, yes, I was going to put Labyrinth Tank in his fusions. However, um, Labyrinth Tank technically can't be summoned. And that's because one of its fusion materials is Cannon Soldier, and Cannon Soldier is a banned card. So unfortunately, I can't put labyrinth tank in his deck anyway kaiba has lost his trap master that was from guardian of the throne room which is a uh, a machine type but because of the name i put it in the paradox brothers deck sort of in sort of like a baby labyrinth tank in a way all right there's a face down defense and a fast down spell or trap from kaiba there's sewage in nice millennium golem is there too okay a Here we go. Itotsumi Giant. Not so mighty anymore. Guardian of the Throne Room destroys that. Um, the starter deck Kaiba is a very unbalanced deck. It's got very, very weak monsters. And then with its tribute ones, you've got Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is the strongest normal monster in the game. Kaiba again with a face down defense. And there's Gate Guardian as well. Now, Gate Guardian is ridiculously hard to summon. Okay, Sewagen is going to go onto the field. Um, to get Gate Guardian on the field, you need to tribute Sewagen, Karzajin, and Sanger of the Thunder to gain really, not really that much more attack points because, okay, there's Trap Hole, so Gate Guardian's pretty much useless now anyway. Oh, there is Monster Reborn. So, yeah, as I was saying, Gate Guardian, not an easy card to summon. You need to, su you can only summon it with the effect of, of tributing Sujin, Kazajin, and Sangha of the Thunder, which all three of those monsters separate are probably going to do more damage in Gate Guardian together anyway. All right, Kaiba lost a Dark Titan of Terror. He plays another face down defense. He's only just managing to hold on for the moment. All right, there's Ryoku. And down goes Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. And Paradox Brothers have played Ryoku. have selected... <laughs> I, I do believe that may have been an accident. I do believe they meant to select Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress first. Which, uh, I mean, that's the simple mistake. But at this rate, I don't see this duel lasting much longer. Kaiba has to do something quick. And knowing the deck that he had for his starter deck, he probably doesn't have much in his hand. And that he's already destroyed Zurjum with a trap hole. And there's Dehuman, which will be able to destroy that Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. No, that's number two. Okay. There were two of them. So Dehuman will cost 700 points. Oh no, there's a Fissure on, on Sujin. Wow. Kaiba has taken the upper hand here, and the Paradox Brothers are in trouble because they can't summon either one of those monsters that are in their hand. If Gate Guardian was sent to the graveyard by the hand, 
I, it doesn't specifically say that it's the only way. Well, it says it can only be summoned with that effect, so maybe that bypasses. Okay, Dehuman has been tributed for Judge Man. The Paradox Brothers do have a bottomless trap hole. And that will destroy the Judge Man and remove him from play. Alright, there's Destroy a Golem. That's a 1500 attack. Uh, Kaiba will be down to 5250 life points. Paradox Brothers have only lost 100. They're definitely in control here. And Kaiba only has one card in his hand, so he is in trouble early already, as he usually is with his with his starter deck. The real Seto Kaiba from the anime would lose his mind if he knew that he was getting eliminated in the first round. All right, Destroy Golem is tributed. Millennium Golem has come to the field. That's a 2,000 attack, 2,200 defense. All right, Kyber down to 3250, and I am predicting a quick finish to this one. Some of these duels, the last one we saw went for 20 minutes. We've had others go for seven, we've had a couple go for five. It's just the way it is with these duels. If you draw a bad hand, then tough. You draw a bad hand and you lose very quickly. All right, Dissolve a face down defense. Kyber has one defense card on the field and Sojin on the field. And Ryu Kishin is destroyed. Kaiba running out of options very, very quickly. The Paradox Brothers with Gate Guardian in their hand, which they will probably never be able to summon. Okay, there's a face down for Kaiba. Novox's Prayer, that is used to summon Skull Guardian, which is 2150 from memory. Skull Guardian. It doesn't have any effect, but it's just a uh, an okay ritual card that the Paradox Brothers have. You can tribute that Gate Guardian out of your hand to summon it. Alright, Kaiba again. He is barely managing to defend himself. Has decided to play D Spell on his own Sojin card. Maybe the thought of losing in the first round has sent Kaiba insane. In the anime, it definitely would. Okay, there is... Okay, the Paradox Brothers could have won it there if they flipped that that Dissolver Rock up and played Rock Ogre, Ogre Grotto, but Kaiba has been gifted another turn here. But I don't think it's even going to matter. Kaiba, once again, has been absolutely smashed. And there is the Guardian of the Labyrinth. Very cool card. With a modest 1,000 attack, 1,200 defense. And it's all over for Kaiba. He has not been able to play another card. Paradox Brothers pick up what it was a fairly easy win. So now that this duel is over, let's pull up the tournament bracket. And what we are going to see next, we are going to see... We are going to see the Paradox. Okay, so we've got Mai against Panic. And we're going to have... The Paradox Brothers play the winner of Tristan and Taya, which should be a very interesting match because I had to create decks basically from scratch for the two of them. So as we are coming to the end of the duel, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow. They are scheduled for midnight in Perth, Western Australia time. Um, if, you're, if you are enjoying these duels, then hey, I'm doing a good job. So wherever you are in the world, take care, uh, keep safe, farewell.